Come on. They've cleared out. Oh, man. We can work our magic. This Spielberg studio is a mess. Yeah. Maud, will you look at this? They expect us to make the new movie for $150 million. <laughs> but that's my Brad Pitt movie, Lucille. I'd like to have Brad Pitt in the movie, too, but not if it's going to cost us $30 million. Now that's, let me see, roughly 65% of our profits. What's $30 million? Why, Brad Pitt's name on a picture is a loan is a guaranteed extra $150 million at the box office. Uh, you save yourself a lot of headaches if you just forget about Brad Pitt. But I got my heart set on Brad Pitt for that movie. We can't afford Brad Pitt. Now, we were just up in accounting looking at the budget. And you know what? The money isn't there. Now, if you ask me, we're going to go $25 million over on this picture anyway, and that's the problem. Nobody asks me. Well, and they're never going to learn either. Hey, what do you think we're going to do about this floor? You want to mop it and scrub it or just... Kick it around and hope it disappears. Uh, <laughs> let's give it our five-minute special. Okay, we'll kind of dust it and break something and so they know we were here. That's yeah. good. <laughs> hey, I've got it. I've got it. What? A way to get Brad Pitt in that movie. Will you cool it with Brad Pitt? <laughs> well, I want you to listen. We could offer him a capital gains deal. Just like that one you figured out a couple years ago for Marlon Brando in Mutiny on the Bounty. Uh, yeah, that was good, but in those days I had an $8 million budget, and that was a lot of money. I mean, a million here, a million there, it didn't mean anything. I mean, what's the difference? Um, say, by the way, speaking of money, um, could you lend me a couple of bucks till payday? You know, I wish I could, but I'm tapped out. I... I blew it on these new shoes. <laughs> wow, they're really nice. You've been shopping. Yeah. Are they army or infantry? <laughs> infantry. I was passing the army surplus store and I, I knew I shouldn't do it, but I just couldn't resist them. <laughs> oh, you know what, Maude? Those are really beautiful. And you're wearing them to work? My boyfriend's picking me up after work. Are you still going out with that cute doorman from the Paramount? You mean Donnie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, is it serious? Him and me is engaged. Oh, brother. Yeah, I know you don't approve. It's not that I don't approve of him, it's just that... Well, you know how I feel about show business marriages. I mean, don't come crying to me when your careers clash. I know, and you're right. <clears throat> you're right, but that's why I'm thinking about quitting. Quitting show business? Yeah, I have to, Lucille. Why? Well, you can't quit. Show business is in your blood. You'll go crazy. You'll be miserable. Show business. We're just a couple of cleaning ladies. That's all we are. I don't like it when you talk like that. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's true. Yeah. That you think we're not very important, too. And you know what? Remember, we're just as important as anybody in show business. And you know why? Why? Well, because we got something special. What? Well, it's just that we think big. We dream big. This is something that makes us wheeler dealers and big time operators and sets us apart from the crowds. You mean it's just like one step up that ladder? Yeah, yeah, that ladder that takes us straight to the top. Yes, sir, you're right. Straight to the top. Yeah, and that's because we've got Hot spa! <laughs>